All right, uh, we got round two going here for the rail gun. We made some updates. We got some ballistics gel, and uh, we're gonna shoot the car and possibly some pumpkins. So the last time it was shot, uh, had some aluminum blowing off everywhere. You can see it right there. We're gonna rub some of that off. Uh, apparently this rail bent just from the magnetic field, is that correct? That is correct. The reason this bent is we had the projectile jam right here due to some buildup and that had a large impact on the magnetism right about here. So a lot of this black stuff caused by the jam. All right, so since the first one, we uh, added these right here for the connections instead of C-clamps. I think they'll probably work a little bit better. <laughs> and then for up here on the rails, Ziggy has fabricated this mess right here. <laughs> I think it's going to work pretty well. It'll just slide on like that. All right, here's the final setup. We're about to start charging. He's getting his proper PPE on right now. That is. Those won't melt to his hands. He's rated to zero volts. <laughs> Snapchat. I was, I was saving it. Go, go, go. Here is the damage. It's clearly embedded inside the door. Oh, there's steel right there. Dude, should we take the door apart and try to find the projectile later? Yeah. We're investigating the Saturn for damage. More progress in the dorm. There it is. There. I see it. Oh yeah. Oh, there's glass. <laughs> Good safety glass, Brian. Let's check it out. No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> this is the projectile. The magnetic field or the door, one of the two, <laughs> crushed the legs. If you wouldn't have hit that, bent. look. See how much it bent that? Yeah. That was going straight down, and then they curved it. That all the way up, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be flush like this, right yeah. here. And it bent it all the way up right there. It took out a, wow, 